What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite review on WWE Elite Series 96, Dewdrop and Ilya Dragunov. Now, these are two figures that probably are not going to do the best in terms of numbers, but I do appreciate you guys checking out the review, if you will. Now, later today, I am going to be uploading My Damn Thoughts on this series for the ranking, so stay tuned for that video, but I greatly appreciate hitting the like button, leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below, and anybody that checks out the reviews, regardless of what the figures are, you guys are the real MVP. Now, getting into these figures, not the most excited for either of them, to be honest with you, but I love action figures, so these could shock me. Who knows? You know, we're, we're going to have to find out together here, but not never been really a big fan of Dewdrop, never been a huge fan of Dragunov. I think he can go in the ring. I just have never been a personal fan, you know? Like, I, like I'm like i not a LeBron James fan, but I can acknowledge that he's good at basketball. You know what I mean? Regardless, here's the two front viewing windows of the figures. You got Dewdrop here. You got Dragunov over here. You got the front viewing windows right there. Both of them looking pretty decent. I feel like her head sculpt's definitely better than than his. I'm not a fan of this head sculpt, which we'll have to come to find out at the end there, but the big WWE logo on the side, you got images of both talents there. Looking like Draco Malfoy over here. On the back, you do have Dragunov and you do have Dewdrop. You have their bio reads. If you want to read Dewdrops, you can pause it now, and then if you'd like to read Ilya's, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the way that we already reviewed, so definitely go check out the other figures in the set, but Dewdrop, Ilya Dragunov's names on the side, Series 96, and that wraps it up for our packaging. If you guys are like, grab these figures, can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there as always but with all these things being said man let's crack these guys out find out if they're worth a damn are they trash or are they you know maybe they're the best of the best we'll have to find out today and we will find out later in the my damn thoughts ranking but let's shut the hell up and get into it shall we so here's Ilya Dragunov and Dewdrop out of their packaging, spinning round and round as they always do here in the MDT action figure reviews, man. But I'm actually quite enthralled with both of these, posing them around, getting them into their poses, like you know what I'm seeing so far. We're going to have to get into it. I think what we might have on our hands is two figures that feel good in the hand, man, which you guys already know. When that's the case, I'm a hampy camper. I enjoy the figures when they feel good in the hand. I mean, you want to make a good figure for MDT, you want to make me happy with a figure, make it feel good in the hand, already off to a great start. We'll have to see where they finish up and of course we are going to be ranking this set today not in this video but today you can find my damn thoughts for wwe elite series 96 here on the channel so definitely go find it after this video so you guys can get all the details of the set and find out the ranking for this set however do drop an elite dragon off looking pretty good man but you guys already know how we do i'm gonna start off with do drops accessories and do drop because i think there's not as much going on so then we'll cut it back and then we will run through dragon off as well so let's get into it shall we all right guys so getting into do drops accessories you do get the cloth jacket here which reminds me a lot of Kushida's jacket from Elite 89 very similar it kind of has like a denim -y look but it's not denim obviously it is a stretchy cloth material which is always fantastic fits the figure well as you guys saw so I mean there's really nothing around it it is a great cloth accessory I love cloth accessories Mattel has been coming at us quality very very much so lately for sure and this is no different it looks fantastic they did a good job on it fits the figure well I, I think it it's big enough to even fit some male figures that's no digs that's no jokes at all. It's just the facts of it. This jacket, you probably could work for other individual talents, so that'll be nice to see, but this is a very quality accessory. Now, as far as the next one is concerned, we do have interchangeable hands. I don't know why I said that like it's a big deal. You get your mic holding hands, which we've seen. It's just your standard woman's, you know, just standard woman's hands for interchangeable hands. You got the, the mic holding hands or C-grip hands. I just had a giggity thought, and I didn't like it. And then you have the fisted hands, which are, are solid as well. You can just beat the hell out of people, and, you know, I, I, I like the women's hands better they don't ever get loose they feel really good i guess because it's got the, they have the longer peg so they don't get loose but i don't know what it is but yeah the dewdrop drop hands are there and you, you, you move on all right guys so getting into dewdrop drop herself starting out with the head sculpt i think it's a solid head sculpt i think the likeness is there kind of a you know, just straight face expression you do get the nice little floral designs and the hair i don't even know what these are these hair clips or bows sort of in there but you get the purple and teal color which looks really nice the likeness is good i think hair color is good i like the hair and the waviness in it i think it's accurate you have the blue and purple singlet going down you do have your i mean this is kind of plain jane right it's just like kind of just painted on diamonds there but it is there i believe all this is new sculpt i don't believe this is anything reused because nia Jax had like a bunch of sculpt and like different deals going on but all this is just flat which i think is accurate you know i don't think it's too like i think she just wore flat attires now it doesn't come it doesn't give you the glitter that was actually in the gear and they also left off her wrist tape for whatever reason which hurts the figure i think so it's kind of plain jane honestly but you do have the stockings painted on there men's knee pads 
pads on their black lower legs and then these solid black boots. They actually gave her uh, men's lower legs and boots, which I don't think we've seen on women's figures before, but I think it works out really good. And I like the way these arms articulate. They're actually really nice in the hand. I, I think this figure is actually very underrated, you know, and I'm not like the, I'm not a big Dewdrop fan. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm a big Dewdrop fan, but the figure is actually pretty solid as far as articulation. Ab crunch isn't the best, but you do get a nice diaphragm movement here. And the arms are really smooth like butter. And um, I don't have that Elite 94 Stephanie McMahon shoulder problem. Double jointed arms giving me a little bit of trouble, but it's still better than half of the women's figures Mattel's ever released. So, I mean, that's just a standalone good thing there. But yeah, I mean, the figure feels good in hand. It's a nice, solid piece. I feel like it could beat the hell out of some people. Not going to give her, you know, she's not Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, but she'll get the job done. But let's get into some Dewdrop figure comparisons. So for your Dewdrop figure comparisons, guys, here is Bailey. You have Nyla Rose and you have Shotzi. As you guys can see, the Nyla Rose figure is still pretty big. I don't think that Jazzwares and Mattel are the same like size anymore, honestly. I think that uh, Jazzwares is a bit bigger, as you guys can see. But I couldn't find my Nia Jax figure for whatever reason. But I imagine it's very, very similar. Like, it does look similar off the cuff. Since she got cut, I, I don't know what I did with the figure. You know, she's not on the shelf no more. I can't find it. Yeah, I hate to see it. Kind of. Not really. But, yeah, we do have Dewdrop here, and it looks good up next to, like, the women's talent, especially in WWE. I think that, you know, like, this right here is pretty good size. She's pretty, you know, I think it fits well. One thing I also noticed is on the back of the packaging, they left off the weight. I guess that's out of, like, a respect deal or whatever, but they always put the men's weight on there. Regardless if, if it's, like, a bigger character or not, they always put the weight, so I don't know. I thought that was a bit odd. However, there's Dewdrop. She looks good. I like the figure pretty solid. So getting into Dragonoff's accessories, man, let's start off with the cloth goods again. Now, it's not completely accurate, right? It's not completely accurate. Um, I don't even know why, like, I, I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really bother me that this is like that shimmery look, but it's supposed to have like a, I don't even know, like a rosary or like floral sort of pattern going on or like a dry brushed or like asphalty cement kind of look to it, but it looks really good on the figure and I'm never going to complain about cloth accessories. It's just not going to happen. I think it probably could have been better maybe if they did it like red and then did the faux leather kind of like Shinsuke's jacket maybe would have gave it a better texture and weight to it but I still like it the long entrance robe looks really good I like the cloth going on I mean again I'm just not gonna complain about it man I mean I'm not nitpicking it I'm literally just saying if they could have upgraded it in any way that would probably be the way to do it but this is fantastic looks good on the figure it's cloth it's not gonna stain I mean I could just do wonders about it I could do flips about it I, I, you know what I'm saying this is beautiful this is what we like to see this is the quality goods this may be the best accessory in the set. We'll have to see all my damn thoughts, but this is excellent. Speaking of which, it's probably posted the same day as this, so definitely go check that out. We also get a UK Championship, probably the third time we've seen this, maybe the second, but, uh, you know, we, we don't get this too often, but it looks really good. I don't feel like it's as clean as it's been in the past, but it is a beautiful looking championship. Some would say probably the best championship in all of WWE, so that is a good thing, but you do get the UK Championship. It looks good, fits the figure well again, and I'm glad to have another one of these in the collection, so if you're a belt collector, gotta get the Ilya Dragunov figure from Elite Series 96, but this belt looks great. I love Mattel championships. They look good. No different here. Now, as far as interchangeable hands, you do get your mic holding hands, which make the world go round. You get your he was number one hands or pointing hands or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, shut the hell up. You don't know what you're saying hands. So these look good there. And last but not least, you do get your throne sitting hands, you know, like sitting like this on the throne or uh, clasping the hands together or, you know, you, you get a lot of different things for this. It, but they used to come with Daniel Bryan all the time too, but these are the hands you get for it. And uh, I think it looks damn good. You like to see it and that does it for your interchangeable hands. You get three pairs this time. All right, guys, so getting into Ilya Dragunov, starting out with the head sculpt. Not my favorite, man. To be honest, not my favorite. I think that, like, it's not bad. I like the hair sculpt. I think the hair is a bit orangey. I'd like it to see it, like, more blonde, I think, or have, like, blonde with a wash, I think would have done better. I just don't like the, the head sculpt. I think the eyes are a bit big. It just looks a bit odd to me. I, I don't know. You guys can let me know. I'm just not a big fan of it. I also think that it, uh, maybe not. I was gonna say it may look a bit big, but it really doesn't. I like the torso choice. You got the Finn Balor torso or the old Cody Rhodes torso, the double jointed arms, which look good. Pretty plain Jane gear, right? I mean, he's just got the short black boots with the Dean Malenko legs with the red trunks with the black details. It does say Unbazik Bar on the back right there, which means invincible, if you didn't know that. You do have the nice graphic back there. It looks really cool, so that does mean invincible, I do believe. And then you do have, you know, just, uh, it's a very standard figure, you know, not the most exciting figure, but an exciting talent, you know. Guy can wrestle his A off. He's got the robe. He's got the UK championship. And I like this figure. It feels really, really good 
the hand and that's you guys know that i love that so as far as articulation he's got a good ab crunch very tight waist he doesn't really have that shoulder issue he actually does have good shoulders which is always a plus for me double jointed arms as you guys know which is just making the world go round these days he does have the d malenko leg so he can stretch out far here nice forward kick double jointed knee boot rotation right there so yeah i, I like the figure a lot it has a lot of good feels in the hand and again man that's like half the battle right there you get the you get the feel good in the hand i mean i can i can fuck with it you know what i mean as far as figures comparisons go we don't have a ton to compare but i figured we could show off the unrivaled series one kenny omega the dragon off and then the custom mdt trey white figure which looks handsome look at me i am handsome but yeah i, I like everything going on right here man looks good everything's quality I'm liking the Dragonov figure, and I think he has great accessories. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 96 review on Dude Drop and Ilya Dragonov. Had a lot of fun with the review. Again, both figures feel really good in hand. I think these are great representations of both talents, even though I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt on Dragonov. I think we're going to get a better basic down the line or something. We'll head switch it. I just don't see the likeness there for me. But shout out today is going to go to Austin H450, who says, MDT, I love how we keep getting white gears from Mattel and Jazzwares. You should do a video at the end of the year or in the future on every white gear that Mattel and Jazzwares have released and maybe do a top 10 ranking on your favorites. I like this video idea. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I think that'd be pretty dope to see a white gear top 10 of both companies. Kind of like mix them together, which, you know, yeah, you know, just back and forth there. I think that would be awesome. But huge shout out to Austin for the comment. If you guys would like to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But that's going to do it, man. Stay tuned for My Damn Thoughts. Go, get, go, go watch My Damn Thoughts after this video at Greatly appreciate it, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and have a blessed one. You cross the line.